right, we're back here for round three. We've won the die roll yet again, which is exactly what Mardu wants to do. We have our exact Mardu mana. We have a two drop in Bondkin. We're missing a three drop, but we've got some good stuff, so I'm keeping this for sure. Our opponent's here, so that's always good. We're going to lead with a swamp and say go. Forest, sure. Down comes my Bondkin. And pass the turn. What you got? Black, green. Are you Saltai? Or are you Abzan? Grab Swift Fang. It's kind of a pain. Has first strike. It stops my Bondkin from attacking. Um, we're just going to outlast the Bondkin, I think. And the next turn, we will uh, see what we draw, actually. Because if we draw something that's three mana, we will attack War Shrieker and then three mana uh, creature or spell. If we don't, I think we're just going to go Summit Prowler. Mardu Skull Hunter. I have to discard a card. Oh no, is it at random? Or do I get to choose? I get to choose. Uh, we're going to pitch this. We have no double white, but we have double red, so we're going to pitch planes. You got my planes. Crater's Claw. Beautiful. Um, we're going to swing in for three. And then we're just going to drop a Summit Prowler. We've got two removal spells online, which I quite like to see. If he tries to be aggressive, we can blow up whatever blocker he plays and then get in for seven. And really start to threaten things. He goes in for one in the air, sure. And what's his blocker going to be? An Alpine Grizzly, sure thing. I think we maybe just bring low, oops, let's get that out of the way. I think we maybe just bring low the Grizzly. And then swing in. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want that Grizzly punching me. Goodbye, Grizzly. In for seven, I think think he might chump block. He probably shouldn't, but he does. So he chump blocks, Skull Hunter goes away, he's down to 14. We've got another removal spell online, we've got War Shrieker to hopefully ramp into something, I would hope. Long shot squad, sure thing. Uh, my creatures still take that down. I can still just crater claws as at creatures <laughs> creatures closet as well. Sounds like the crater has some sort of wardrobe or something. Uh, hmm. I could just rush of battle. I can crater claws him to the face for six. I think maybe we just actually rush of battle here. Because both of my creatures would survive. I'd be threatening nine. He would probably have to chump block. Uh, if he doesn't, then I can Crater's Claws him. So yeah, let's just rush a battle. He only has one green up. So we're in a decent space. Or sorry, nine. Eleven. <laughs> he definitely uh, needs to think about chump blocking here. I was thinking this gave plus one, plus one, but no, it's plus two, plus one. So he blocks there, and he's going to go to uh, 9. My guys live. He only has one blocker. Crater's Claws is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be 6 or 7 if we hit a land. He didn't play anything. So I think we just get in here and see what he has. What's he holding back? Did he hold back and awaken the bear? Or is he just jumping? He's just jumping. So we could just Crater's Claws him here. Um, is there anything that he could have that would stop it? He could kill one of my creatures to turn off Ferocious. So if he turned off Ferocious, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4. It would take him to 2. 
he'd be able to play a blocker and he'd be back in the game. So I think I'm actually just going to drop the Sentinels here, uh, force him to find a, a, a reach threat or a flying threat. He's going to need a Sultai Scavenger plus a creature. No, he doesn't have it. All right. Probably overthinking it there, uh, but we just pull that win out. Um, if he was three colors, he must have been screwed on mana. Maybe he's just a black green deck. Uh, two color decks are possible and often powerful in this format. Um, so we don't really know what he's playing. He had a flyer and he had a long shot squad and a, what was that other creature that he had? A grizzly. Nothing I'm too concerned about, really. I think we just jump back in. Yeah, let's jump back in. I really wish I had have gotten something to replace that uh, uh, Dragon Grip. It's not my favorite card at all. This is not great. We've got a Rakshasa Secret and an Alabaster Kirin. Uh, we are on the draw. Ugh. I really don't like keeping it. But there is that Kirin. It's game two. We're up a game. I'm going to risk it. As long as we don't flood out. Turn one Mardu Hayblade. That's pretty good. We don't flood out. All right. Turn two Bondkin. Turn three Rakshasa's Secret. We're good. We're good for now. Let's get that Notepad Outpost away. Sure, I'll take one. Thank you for that one. Oh, your oh your own uh, Bondkin. All right. Somebody's being aggressive. Well, I also have a Bondkin. So maybe he just outlasts his Bondkin, in which case I might match him. Uh, he's oh, he is Abzan, by the way. He's got his uh, white mana there, and I guess he's played two white cards. <laughs> just coming in with Bondkin. I'll take one. He's going to outlast. Yeah. So the question is, do I match his outlast or not? Oh. Oh, that's awful. Ghostfire Blade is obnoxious. Um. Yeesh. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just outlast here. That Bondkin is probably going to get the Ghost Fire Blade, and it's going to become a, a 5 4 first strike. Uh, it's not good. Uh, next turn, we maybe Rakshasa's Secret him. Um, get rid of his final two cards, whatever it is that he's been holding back. Uh, but we're in a bad spot here. We really need Murderous Cut uh, or Bring Low. Maybe I should have played that. Yeah, I definitely should have played that Nomad Outpost, actually. Just coming in for one. Not equipping Ghostfire Blade. Interesting. Hmm, just outlasting again. Okay. Okay. So, hmm... So we get a Horde Chief. Maybe we just attack and then Horde Chief. Yeah, let's do that. This is not quite going to be the Mardu game that I want it to be. I'm going to be kind of playing to my removal. Is he going to swing in now? All right, now he's going to swing in for four. I'll take that, go to 14. And ooh, that's awful. That's all kinds of awful. Uh, if we don't get a, a, an answer for that soon, we're just dead. Crater's Claws for four at the moment. Crater's Claws for four. It doesn't have trample, so that's nice. 
Um, creature's Claws for four. Ugh, I don't like this at all. Don't like this at all. I could Rakshasa's Secret those last two cards away. And Outlast. These are very less than ideal choices. Hopefully my Murderous Cut is left on top of my library and not sitting in my graveyard. So he held back a Smite the Monstrous and a Watcher of the Roost. All right. And I lose Dragon Grip and Swamp, which I'm totally okay with. And we will outlast this dude and pass the turn. And we'll chump that Ivory Tusk Fortress with our warrior. I really hope he throws the blade on the uh, fortress and not the Bondkin. Oh, okay. Um, sure, we'll chump that. So is he just going to outlast here and pass the turn? Yeah, all right, sure. Sure thing. Are you going to equip the hate blade or anything? You're going to equip that on the hate blade, all right. Sure, 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 sure. Saltai Scavenger, that's interesting. But I think this turn we want to just drop the, uh, the bondkin. So we're going to go... Well, wait, hold up. One, two, three, four. So it's actually going to do six damage. Yeah, I think we just drop the Bondkin. And then next turn we can chump the Fortress one more time. Maybe next turn we just take the Fortress. Um, I'm not actually going to attack here because I can kill the hate blade if he decides to attack with it. Uh, but we're really going to need to draw into our murderous cut or something. Uh, very nicely, bring low plus bondkin would kill the fortress. Not anymore, it won't. Not anymore, it won't. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the five here. So I feel like the upside is he's out of gas. Um, so we're drawing into our murderous cut just as much as he's drawing into anything. So if we can just get stuff on the board, we might do pretty okay. Um, I'm going to cast this scavenger for as cheap as possible. Should be black and one. Yeah. And then I'm going to drop... Uh, Alabaster Kirin, so I can start getting in the air for some damage. So I can chump black, chump block that uh, fortress with the Horde Chief maybe this turn. Get in for five in the air. Uh, a land would allow me to play my hand out. Uh, on the yield, on yielding Krumar and then uh, Krumar Bondkin morphed. Swiftwing, sure. And he's gonna equip the Swiftwing. That's a pain. That's a real pain. But he decides not to attack, giving me more and more turns to draw that murderous cut. Although it is a 1 in 23 chance at the moment. Um, maybe we just play out the hand here. Because we can't really attack or do anything. Maybe I also... Maybe I just outlast the bond can actually. Let's play the Krumar face up. And then outlast the bond can. Let's rehabilitate him from that debilitating injury. So I'm pretty okay with this kind of uh, working towards a uh, a board uh, a board stalemate. 
a morph. What could it be? Hopefully not an Abzan guide. I feel like maybe he would have just played the Abzan guide though. Uh, Mardu Hate Blade, sure, that'll that'll actually straight up kill the fortress. So that's nice. Uh, and I think we're just gonna play out the hand. Or maybe we don't, and maybe we just outlast our Bontekin. Yeah, let's do that. So this is interesting. I'm not sure why he's not. Oh, for some reason I was thinking the Swift Fang, ha Swift, Swift Fang had for No, it does have first strike. Yeah, flying first strike haste. If he swings in with that, I would just have to chump or take it. I mean, I'd be able to fly back in with damage, but it wouldn't be ideal. Uh, so we hit a land. We're going to hold that land back, cast this Krumar, and then get our Bondkin bigger again. Hold up a black for our hate blade. Play into the murderous cut. That Crater's Claw would be pretty nice right about now. But we cast it to kill a Bondkin. Another morph. Sure thing. Attack with your Swift Fang. It's a free attack. Bloodfell Cave. Sure, I'll gain a life. Why not? And we're going to make our Bondkin bigger. And pass the turn. Long shot squad, sure. Come on, murderous cut. Bloodfire expert, you're not a murderous cut. I mean, do we even want murderous cut at this point? At this point, it just kills the fortress, and that's about it. Well, let's do the bond can again. Pass the turn. What would Rush of Battle do right now? It would do some interesting stuff. It would gain us a heck of a lot of life. Uh, it would gain us 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It would gain us 24 life, which is a little bit of a uh, swing. <laughs> I think if I hit Rush of Battle, I'm just Alpha Striking with everything. Debilitating Injury. I think we just get rid of one of these morphs. Let's get rid of the first one. What was it? It was... I guess if, if it's an Abzan guide, he can still just unmorph it and save it. It was a Saigu Archer. Well, I'm pretty happy to get rid of that. Um... I think I just keep the Inoch Bondkin up now. It can block and kill anything on his board. Except for the, the flyer, of course. Uh, yeah, we just passed the turn. This is going to be a long game. This is going to be a long, long game. High Sentinels, that's pretty nice. That's going to help me start to take, uh, or start start to move away with this game. Uh, I'm going to actually fly in with my uh, scavengers here because I can make them a 4-4. Four four. Although he does have a card back that he didn't cast. Could be a kill shot. No, we're not going to attack. Come on, Rush of Battle. If I ever needed you, it is now. He could just be holding land back to uh, 
uh, bluff stuff. All right, we're gonna put it on the Kieran actually. So we actually have enough at the uh, at this moment to be doing two plus one plus one counters a turn, uh, which is gonna make this high sentinel quite large eventually. Uh, swamp, eh? All right, we're gonna swing in with the Kieran here. Or sorry, no, no, this long shot squad has reach. We're not gonna do that at all. Uh, five, six, so it would become a seven, eight. Could have awakened the bear. No, we'll just pass the turn. End of his turn, we will double uh, counter. We will counter on the sentinels. Uh, they get one for themselves, right? Yeah, they get one for themselves. We'll, sent, we'll counter on the sentinels and we'll counter on the scavengers. I'm a prowler. You're not what I want. Uh, so now I could swing in with the sentinels. 8, 9, 10, 11, 7, 8, 9, 10. If he has double awaken the bear, I lose. Well, I don't lose, but I lose the sentinels. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna poke him. See what he does. We'll put a counter on the hate blade and the... I don't know, the Bondkin. He could just have a kill shot, but uh, we've done enough to the board that the kill shot isn't quite as bad as it would have been. All right, so he's putting the long shot squat in front. So we're gonna go counter on the hate blade. Show me what you got. Okay, you're gonna throttle him, I see. So he is gonna get him dead. So he's a 3-4 right now. He's gonna become a 4-5, he can become a 6-7. So he can't kill it. So we're gonna throw our last counter on the Kirin. Well, we got a card out of him, so that was all right. Uh, we're still hoping for that Russia battle, <laughs> as strange as it is. The long shot squad has really unfortunately turned off my flyers. But of course, they do have first strike, as does my hate blade, as does my bondkin, as does a lot of things. Uh, what's this going to be, dead drop? No, he's outlasting. He his cards in his graveyard turned red. Yeah, there they go again. He is delving for something. If it's dead drop, oh okay, it's just scavenger. All right, that's much less scary. I still don't know what this morph creature is either. I think at this point we murderous cut the long shot squad. Actually, if murderous cut is actually in my deck, who knows? Um, we will drop a summit prowler. And, I don't know, Outlast? Yeah, sure, let's Outlast. Why not? <laughs> this match is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, I'm behind on time by three full minutes. Uh, he's got two cards in hand, and he's got two extra cards in his library, so I mill out before he does. Uh, but we hit Russia Battle before we mill out, which is nice. Down comes another morph. All right. Well, I guess we don't necessarily hit Russia Battle before we mill out. It could be our last card. <laughs> sure, an 0-4 on turn 18 is what I want. Um, oh, 
Frick. Oh, that was awful. I did not. Damn it. I wanted to outlast that. I did not want to attack with that. Well, hey, I just lost us the game, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll take something with it. We'll take something with it. Oh, it's awful. Oh, wow. Oh, he didn't block. It lived. Oh, we lived through our mistake. We lived through our mistake. <laughs> oh, that should not have happened. Oh, that's awful. That is all kinds of awful. So he's got a 10-10 lifelinker. At least we can kill it. Our hate blade has death touch on demand and first strike. So it's not a big problem just yet. There's our rusher battle. So now we have to take some time, unfortunately. Uh, he can block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. He will block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leaving So what are we threatening? We're threatening 28, 30, 34, 38, uh, 43, 45, 48, um, 51 plus prowess, 52, 56. We're threatening 56 damage, which is lethal. 56 is greater than 10. Uh, we would get lifelink on him, 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 and him. So we'd be gaining 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 16, 17, 18, 22, 24, 25, 26. We'd be gaining 28 life and going to 38. He would be taking four, five, he would be taking six and going to four. We would lose one of our flyers to the long shot squad. The other would kill the bat. You know what? We're running out of time. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. We are going to gain 28 life. He is going to be threatened with 58 damage. We're just going to do it. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Everything at you. <laughs> and now we sit back and let him figure out this mess. Oh, I would not want to be on his side. So Longshot Squad kills the Bondkin straight out. Mardu Hateblade kills the Bondkin straight out, but I still gain seven life off of it. Uh, the bat dies, and I gain six life off of it. So already I'm looking at 13 life gain. They would trade if he did that. All right, so he dies, Fortress lives. Uh, your Abzan Battle Priest just dies. Oh, I forgot, he actually gains 20 or 10 life off this. Oh, that was bad. All right, so do I need to do anything here? I don't think I do. He doesn't need Death Touch because he has First Strike. Um, I'll give him First Strike just because. So he's going to take 8. He's going to gain 10. So he's going to gain 2 total and go to 12. That's going to live. Oh, actually, this guy does kill him. That's pretty good. I'm not even figuring it out. Let's just hit OK. See what happens. What happens? I'm at 25. He's at 4. What else happens? Come on, Magic Online, tell me. Tell me what else happens. 
He goes to two and I go to 38 and he has an ivory tusk fortress. All right. Thank you for telling me that. I would not want to have figured it out. I think we've won. I think. <laughs> uh, I think. And then he end hostilities. No, oh, we did it. All right, we did it. And that was a, a fantastically exciting way to finish it. So we went 2-1. Uh, we lost uh, that really, really, really close match to that uh, five-color deck that uh, uh, just barely snuck by us in round two. So uh, we made up, I think, for that first video with a, a fantastic match two in this match three in this amazing ending. Uh, I was pretty happy with the deck. Uh, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Mardu in this format. Uh, I think being aggressive is really, really, really good. Uh, it stomps over a lot of the uh, decks that are wanting to do fancy things or wanting to do slow things. Uh, but yeah, as always, if you have any comments, let me know uh, in the comment section of YouTube or on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash themanaleek. That's L-E-E-K. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter and follow me there. Shoot me off a message there at uh, twitter.com slash, or I guess just, sorry, at themanaleek. Um, and as always, you can find me just here on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys next time for Wacky Wednesday, which I think will be a Momir uh, again, because I quite enjoyed doing that. Uh, but I will see you guys for then.